Today, we'll show you seven mistakes that players make on the field. Seven mistakes that players probably wish they could just edit out. And speaking of editing, we should probably tell you about today's sponsor, Wondershare Filmora 9, a video editing program that's simple, easy to use, and can help you make your own YouTube videos. You're watching All Attack, leaving the ball for someone else when you shouldn't. In football, sometimes there's a situation where two players from the same team are going for the same ball. And sometimes both players think that the other player is going to take it. In football, communication is essential. So if you find yourself in a situation where you and a teammate are going for the same ball, you need to make it clear what you want to happen. If you want the ball, you tell them to leave it. If you want your teammate to take the ball, you tell them to take it. And make sure to speak loud enough that they can actually hear you. In the end, if your teammate is hesitating, then you need to take responsibility and make sure that your team doesn't lose possession. Thinking the tap-in is easy. We've all been there. The ball comes across, it's an open goal, and... Listen, everybody misses sometimes. But you're going to miss easy chances a lot more if you relax and think you've already scored. So no matter how easy a chance may seem, you need to stay focused, keep your eye on the ball, and make the right contact. Also, if you have a lot of time, you might even be able to take a touch. This can be especially helpful if the ball is bouncing. Early red cards. It's early in the game, and the other team's striker is clean through on goal. So naturally, you do the only thing you can do. You foul and take a red card for the team. Except, here's the thing, I don't think you should. Maybe this is just my opinion, but I'd rather lose a goal than play with 10 men for 75 to 80 minutes. When you're playing 11 v 11, you can come back, especially if you have plenty of time. But when you're down a man for most of the game, from what I've seen, you're usually going to lose. But I don't know. If it's early in the game, would you take a red card to stop a goal? You can let us know in the comment section. Passing to the goalkeeper without looking. Okay, this one's somewhat self-explanatory. But let's make it clear. If you're going to pass back to the goalkeeper, you need to look at the keeper and their surroundings right before you pass. It's not good enough to have looked a few seconds ago, because in that time, a player from the other team could have wandered behind your defense. And now, your back pass has become a nice assist for the other team's striker.
shooting when a teammate is wide open. We all know a few players who, well, let's just say they like to shoot a lot. And some of these players seem almost incapable of seeing an open teammate. Listen, if you're great at shooting and you score lots of goals, you probably should shoot a lot. But if you want to be a truly great player, you need to have enough awareness to realize when a teammate is in a much better scoring position. And you need to be unselfish enough to give them the ball. If you do that, your team will actually score more goals and your teammates won't hate you. Poor heading technique. When a player hasn't practiced proper heading technique, they often put their head down early and end up hitting the ball with the top of their head. We like to call this the turtle header. Now look, I get it. Heading a ball can be scary at first, especially if the cross has a lot of speed. But if you are going to head a ball, you need to use proper heading technique. And that means keeping your eyes on the ball the entire time hitting the ball with your forehead, and if you want power, leaning back with your upper body before powering through the ball. If you don't use proper technique, you'll just end up hurting yourself. All right, everybody, before we go, we just want to let you know that if you're looking for a way to edit video, Wondershare Filmora 9 has free professional titles, cool transitions, and built-in animations that are easy to just drag and drop. So if you want to check that out, you can find Filmora 9 in the link below.